Hello everyone, uh, thank you very much for all your support regarding my new little business which is called Geek Printing if you don't know, uh, where I provide movie props and other items a little bit um, for for you guys uh, done in 3D uh, at a price that people can afford, not silly silly prices. Um, it's something that I love, I, I've always loved doing 3D printing. Um, I've always loved doing cosplay, so I dress, I've done Ghostbusters, I've done Star Wars, I've done hundreds and hundreds of different ones, and you can see them on my page and, and stuff that I've done. Um, and I'm a bit of a geek, as you can probably sort of tell. So I love movie props, um, and I have a lot of them. So I started doing that, and then people were like, I want one of them, so I started making other people's stuff. So I wanted to tell you how the business has been going so far. We've grown up from a little teeny teeny business uh, to getting a little bit bigger, um, and currently we are getting pretty big. Uh, I have myself and um, two other people who are helping me. Uh, one uh, does spraying, really good, really good sprayer, does some absolutely fantastic work. Um, and uh, another guy who does the printing as well with me, uh, who's really getting into the business and soon hopefully you'll be getting crazy orders like me and uh, things will be going really well. So what's new in the world of geek printing? Well, that's what this video is about and I'm going to show you some of the new stuff that we've got. First being, we've got uniform! Yay! So I have this nice new black lab coat that stops me getting covered in resin and printing and paint and all the rest of it and keeps my clothes nice and clean and I thought you know what we'll put the logo on it and boom we've got ourselves a work uniform so let's have a look what's new so we now have a resin printer this is an Alagoo uh, Mars 3 Pro uh, it's slightly bigger than the Mars 3 but not massively I'd love I would love to get a big boy of these I would love to get a satin um, something larger but We've got to make the funds, you've got to make the sales, and then we can afford something like that. So eventually, maybe I'll be able to get one of these. Now, this baby allows me to print off some really detailed stuff. For example, something like this, which is a lot more detailed than some of the other stuff that I've been able to print. You can see all the little detail there and his, and his sword and things like that. And a lot smaller pieces with detail that include things like this, where you can see all the lines are perfectly done this has been calibrated the dante figure back there wasn't so this is this is where we're at right now um and i'm able to print little pieces in mass as well so before i was only ever to be able to print one thing at a time this will let me do uh, multiple things on a sheet and they all come out so i can have about five or six of my go which is a lot better for me because i've always been printing to order so now i can actually get a bit of stock together so this has been a lifesaver wasn't cheap, but well worth the money. Next to him, we have the Cure and Wash Station. Um, this little guy washes the prints from in here and also cures them. This wasn't necessary. I could have used a, a alcohol in a cup and I could have cured them with a UV light, like a nail cleaner. But I will tell you, this gets the results that you need. Um, so if you're going to get one of these... I really would advise you get one of these as well. I know you don't need it, but it, it really does make a huge difference. So that's the Alago uh, Mars Pro 3 and the Alago, I think it's the Mercury, yeah, Mercury Plus. Um, and those two are absolutely fantastic for me for doing what I want. Uh, the tank's huge, um, so we, you can really, you know, fill it up. Anyway. But now we do resin printing, so that's the one new thing. Of course, we still have our painting station, and uh, as you can see here, I've got a little order for somebody who has requested a radio from Ghostbusters. So I'm putting that together for him here, and this is going to be covered with a beautiful um, leather finish, um, and all the parts are all here, so they're ready for assembly. Here you can see a model I did for one of my uh, clients. Um, and you can see that this was not done in resin. This was done in uh, PLA uh, 3D upstairs. And you can see that, that, you know, there's quite a lot of imperfections on the leg. Um, you can see some of the lines where the print is. And for this person, they, they just wanted this figure and they weren't too bothered about the, uh, the overall finish. Um, but I am. Uh, so this, to me, would, would not go out. 
but for the person who wants it, it's, it's a friend. Uh, they're very happy with it. Um, but that this is what made me want a resin printer because I just knew that the quality just wasn't there. It's still a very good looking figure and I'd be happy to have this on my shelf uh, regardless of the imperfections. And that could be fixed with sanding down. I got a lot of paint. I got a lot of spray. I got little spray guns down here and on all the rest of it. And uh, we are getting a little bit neater because I have some little um, parts and we're also doing some mass producing on some stuff. We've so one of my popular products is the leg hose that has been seen uh, on the thing, which is Ghostbusters leg hose. I apologize for the extra bits of glue that I haven't pulled off. This is a piece that is still in progress. Uh, this is a silver one. Uh, I, I offered them in the gray as well. Uh, this is one of the gray ends. So you can see it comes in the gray. This is an unused one because of the damage on the bottom. So this is, uh, but that would be the color. And there's a grey one here. So they come with this end on there, a nice, thick, hard yellow tube. And on the other side, they come with one of these. Again, sorry about the glue. It's uh, It hasn't been through QA testing yet. <laughs> it's a brand new one. Um, and this comes with this end. So this does actually pop out. And the reason I've done that is not because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to glue it in. It's because if you do want this and you put it on and you find it's too long for yourself, you can cut this and then stick that back in and adjust the length of this item. Um, and I thought that would be better for people because you can get it for kids and things like that. So if you don't know what this product is, I'm going to put a little uh, picture here where what it actually is so you get an idea. But they come with this nice strong clip and that's going nowhere. Um, now the other end is the magnetized end so you can pull this off and it's got magnets on it so this bit sews onto the uniform and that bit down there again sorry about the glue um will attach to this particular piece so you can just put it on and then it will attach to it and that's a strong grip that's very hard to get off but what it will do is if you're walking along and you get this caught on something, it'll pull it off and it will not rip your uniform. Um, it's also a lot easier if you're cosplaying, you don't have to wear this in the car. You can just pop it on and just clip it on when you get to the place. So I find these really useful. I use these in my uh, cosplay of Ghostbusters. And if you are a Ghostbuster, I really would advise you getting one of these if you haven't already got so one. So up here, I'll right. uh, take you a quick tour of some of the printers. We've got some crazy filament here. Uh, we've got a lot more than that, um, but we've got an Ender 3 here that does our smaller pieces. We have another Ender 3 here that does smaller pieces. We have an FL Sun. Now, the FL Sun um, currently needs its belts replacing, so he is out of commission. We do have another one of these that's unpacked, um, so that uh, that isn't here at the moment. That's going to be up at the new facility. And then we have a little cooler thing for the uh, for the printer there. Also, on this side, we have a Ender Max, and we have our HD printer, uh, which is, it sits over there uh, with all the other items and the printing there. And you see, at the moment, we are printing off some of these Danger stickers. Um, these are done in both weathered and unweathered. It turns out that Hasbro sadly didn't pack some of the stickers, or did pack some of the stickers, but put them on upside down uh, on some of the items. So, to help out my little Ghostbuster community, I am being printed out some of these items here um, so that people can get them cheap and uh, replace the ones that they've got on theirs or the ones that they're missing. So if you do need any of them, they're also on the website. Thank you for taking this little tour with me. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone out there. 
Uh, if you are interested in any 3D items, you can contact me at terry at geekprinting.co.uk or you can check out my website. Bye, guys.